Welcome back to the final segment of the Jeff Kelly Show. Um, I am fascinated by this company. It's uh, it's called Rocky Mountain High Brands, and I'm joined by the President and Chief Executive Officer, uh, Michael Welch. Welcome to the Jeff Kelly Show. Thank you, Jeff. It's nice to be here. Okay, so tell us about Rocky Mountain High and how it is that you're a Texas-based company. Well, we started here in Texas um, we had the opportunity to uh, change the name of the company. We started the company as Totally Hemp Crazy. Okay. And the founder of the company, Jerry Grisafi, actually had the idea of changing the name to Rocky Mountain High when he was introduced to um, Eagle Spirit Spring Water. He actually went to the Eel Spirit Spring Water site with Robert Smith, who introduced him to the family that brought us the Eagle Spirit Spring Water. And Robert was describing the Eagle Spirit Spring Water site, and he said that it actually was from the ancestral Rocky Mountains. Wow. And Very cool. Jerry said, The Rocky Mountains. And he said, Hold on just a second. And he went up to a, a higher level of ground where you get reception. And he started, he started looking around on the Internet. And he said, um, do you know that uh, the trademark for Rocky Mountain is available? Wow. And he filed for it that day. That's amazing. On his iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an amazing story. So we changed the name of the company from Totally Hem Crazy to Rocky Mountain High. Okay, now some people watching this on YouTube um, are saying, oh my goodness, this is scandalous. What are, they're, they're putting pot inside an energy drink. Now explain, explain what's in the drink. So actually it's hemp and it's THC-free hemp. Okay. So let me correct myself. It is the THC level is less than 0.3%. Gotcha. So we actually import industrial hemp, and that, that's what actually goes in the drink. So it's, it's, it is within the legal limits. And it's so, legal in all 50 states. Right. It's legal in all 50 states. And does the consumer actually get a little bit of a, a buzz from drinking it? I guess if they drank, you know, a hundred of them, <laughs> my, <you know? laughs> but by then I think they, uh, they, they may be in the hospital because they've had too much caffeine or something. Absolutely. So let's, let's talk a little bit about the growth of the company. So um, it's really taken off, hasn't it? It has. And we, we started the company in July of 2014, so we're coming up on three years and recently, we have added two new directors to the company just within the last six weeks. Um, and one of the directors is a, a gentleman named Jerry David. And Jerry actually built another sports energy drink called Celsius from a company that had actually gone dark four and a half years ago to a company that went on NASDAQ this past week. Wow. So it, it went um, from basically being somewhat dormant, from my understanding, to revenues close to $23 million a year, and close to $9 million of those revenues were international sales. Wow. He retired from Celsius in March, and through an intermediary, contacted us and said, I'm, I'm very interested in what you're doing. I'd like to talk to you all. Um, fortunately for me, he was not interested in being CEO. He wanted to come on the board and was willing to be a consultant to us. And so uh, we're working with him on a, on a regular basis. And uh, another individual who is also on the board of Celsius, uh, a gentleman named Kevin Harrington, who was one of the original sharks on Shark Tank, cool. um, and also is credited with the, as the inventor of the infomercial, um, has joined the board. That's so amazing. Based on Kevin getting involved, I mean, based on Jerry David getting involved with us, Kevin also wanted to get involved. Wow. And so um, we've already met with him, and uh, he's very excited about what we're doing. And so we're very excited to have those two high-profile individuals join us. Absolutely. That's a dream team. It is. is. It, is it hard, when you're introducing a beverage for the first time, is it hard to break into stores? It is. It is. It's very hard to break into stores. And we're going up against, uh, you know, established brands that have already cornered the market on energy drinks. 
So what we're trying to do is to really create a new segment of hemp-infused energy drinks that basically are healthy alternatives to what exists on the market. If you look at the ingredients in our energy drinks and hold them up against the, uh, the competition, uh, there's really no comparison because we have healthy ingredients in our drinks. We have hemp, ginseng, and guarana as the source of, uh, of energy. Um, and if you hold it up to one of the others, um, I won't name them. <laughs> Everybody knows who they are. <laughs> If you hold it up one of the others and look at their ingredients, it's, the, the choice is, is – it's obvious. And so our challenge right now is, is distribution, sales, and marketing, and that's what we're working on. And with, um, with Jerry and Kevin joining our company, it's going to make it much easier – to actually expand in a manner in which we need to expand at this point in our company. Absolutely. And you're fairly well known in the Dallas restaurant scene. Why don't you give uh, the audience your background? So um, in 2005, I partnered with Stephen Piles and opened Stephen Piles on Ross Avenue. So um, Stephen had taken a sabbatical after he left uh, he, he actually sold Star Canyon to Carlson Restaurants, okay. uh, which uh, owns T, uh, TGI Fridays. And uh, Carlson at the time was interested in, in um, a high-end restaurant group. And he had worked with them for a while, left them, and had taken a sabbatical. I had uh, worked for a, a company that had um, – we had uh, actually spun off from Deloitte. I was part of the founders group of that. Wow. And I had uh, taken some time off uh, after leaving there. And so we'd both come off a sabbatical and had met through a mutual friend. And I was ready to try something different. Stephen was ready to get back into the restaurant game and to open his flagship restaurant on Ross Avenue. So um, we... Uh, Started working in uh, basically my home office and created Stephen Piles with George Majolani, our third partner. And so in 2011, um, I actually left the restaurant and I, I was the CFO for six years. And I left the restaurant and went out on my own and did some consulting. And it was right after I left the restaurant, I met Jerry Grisafi. Wow. And so this has got to be kind of a different endeavor for you. How does uh, your past experience uh, play a role in, in what you what you bring to uh, the brand? Well, it's uh, it's 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 definitely interesting. It's uh, uh, consumer product goods is it's it's a new field for me. And uh, what what helps is that uh, I have a son that works in advertising in New York and he works for one of the top advertising firms in the U.S. And. Um, it's, you were teasing me when I got here about, uh, about the other guests <laughs> <laughs> today, uh, the cardiologist being yeah. here. And I was thinking, yeah, we kept your segments far apart. <laughs> and, 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 and you had the marketing group and I was sitting here thinking about, uh, how, how, what we do actually dovetails into, uh, two of your guests, the, the only one I was having a hard time really connecting with was the interior design. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, <laughs> well, I think Roy might have been smoking something, so <laughs> maybe that. <laughs> um, I was thinking, well, they could be drinking energy drinks while they were designing. But uh, um, uh, it, my background is is definitely helped. It's it's it, this is a, a little bit of a, a change in what I've done in the past. I've I've built businesses. I've been involved in. Um, I definitely did that with Stephen and George. We created a restaurant company from scratch. And uh, the restaurant company is still going, and I've done that before with with other things, and so this is really exciting. I worked with small cap companies before and did consulting with them, and so um, our goal with this company is last year we took it from the OTC markets pink sheets. We went through a Form 10 process and became a fully reporting SEC company. We moved from the OTC pink sheets to the OTC QB. Wow. And so the next step for us is to take this to the NASDAQ. Wow. This past week, Celsius achieved that goal. 
they became a NASDAQ reporting company. And so I think that uh, Jerry David and Kevin Harrington saw that potential in us, and I think that's one of the reasons they came over to us. So Now, when your friends in the restaurant industry find, found out what you were doing, <laughs> did, they, did they say? <laughs> well, they first laughed. <laughs> then the second did the same thing that you just did earlier. They asked me if these were pot drinks. <laughs> and, um, you know, part of our challenge as a company is educating people. And we're getting ready to come out with, uh, we're getting ready to start focus groups after uh, this weekend because we're coming out with a new line of drinks that will be CBD infused. Oh, wow. So we're adding CBD as another layer of ingredients to a new line of, of drinks. And explain what that is so, so people understand. So CBD is basically the oil that comes from the cannabis plant. It too will be THC free but it has another layer of health benefits above and beyond just hemp. And so that's the sort of the next new thing that's, that's, coming, uh, that's coming our direction. And our goal is to be the first energy drink company that has both hemp and CBD in it. Wow. And so we think that has a lot of potential. When um, when you look at the sales figures, is there a state? I mean, do, I, I'm assuming that you sell in Colorado. You know, uh, it's 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 interesting. Um, we've really been focused on um, uh, on where the opportunities have arisen. Sure. We we have uh, uh, opportunities in the Midwest through a, a, a store called a, a chain called Hy V. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of opportunities in New York. Um, we've had opportunities in the in the uh, uh, Pacific Northwest. We've had opportunities in um, California, um, and we've had opportunities in Texas, but not as much. Um, Colorado is an area that we still need to crack. So we have uh, we still have a lot of areas that we still need to get into as a company. Is there any competition? Is anybody else doing anything similar? There's not anyone that we're aware of that's doing it exactly like we're doing it. And there's certainly not anyone that has the combination of the hemp-infused beverages and the high-alkaline water. So tell me about regulation. Did you have any trouble at all getting this approved? <clears throat> Well, the only challenge that we had was really um, explaining all this to the SEC during the Form 10 process. I mean, gotcha. they grilled us extensively on um, exactly what the components of the, the beverages were and, and how, the, you know, how, the, uh, how they were formulated and how they were produced and how they were, where we co-packed them and how the process worked. We had to explain that uh, very carefully in the in the Form 10. And I, is it getting to the level? Is it reaching the tipping point where now stores are contacting you saying, "Hey, I've I've heard good things." It is. It is, and that's that's a great place to be. Absolutely. So um, let's talk a little bit about the the water. Um, okay. Tell tell me more about what makes your water special. So the water actually comes from a spring in the Wichita Mountains. And it is basically comes out of the ground at a naturally high alkaline level of 7.8%. Okay. Well, listen, thank you. You've been a great guest, and we'll have to have you back again. All right. Thank you. And that's the Jeff Krillich Show.